Welcome back to another Tuesday Tutorials. Last time we showed you how to create this sci-fi battlefield scene. Today we're going to take a look at how to make slime look like dripping lava. We made this shot for our slime pack promo to show that you can use slime stock footage for multiple types of styles and effects. So to begin with, we're going to use this hell cave type background from an upcoming pack we are working on. So for the text, we'll be using Element 3D, but it isn't necessary for the effect that we're going to be working on. We just want thick, chunky text. Create your text, then a solid and apply the Element 3D effect. Choose the text as a custom text and mask layer. Then in Element, extrude the text, and we're going to use a cool lava texture from cgtrader.com, then boost the light specular and illumination settings to make it pop. We're gonna use a curves effect to add contrast and warm tones. You're gonna to right click the layer and under layer styles, add an inner glow. We went for an orangey red color to look like internal heat and we lowered the opacity and boosted the size. For the lava, we're gonna be using the slime assets, slime one, three, four, five, slime tear seven, and thin slime one, all from our slime stock footage pack. So drop one of the assets into your comp and set the blending mode to screen. For our shot, we want it to be dripping from the bottom of the title, so we'll tweak the scale and position. We'll just slow it down a little and enable frame blending. So, you know, click that thing twice, baby. First, add a tint effect to make it black and white. To color it, we'll use Video Copilot's free Color Vibrance plugin. Choose a warm color and boost the vibrance brightness and gamma. Now we're gonna add a glow effect and boost the radius and intensity. Then duplicate it and really boost the radius to spread it far if you want it to look hotter. For this one, we change the glow operation from add to screen. Now duplicate the slime asset and move it to the next position. Now we're gonna choose one of the other assets and while holding down the alt key, drag and drop the new asset over the current one. This swaps out the layer and keeps all the effects. Do this as many times as you need until you have a variety of assets dripping from different areas. And of course, tweak the effect for each if necessary. If you want to make any of them look hotter, use a curve above all of the other effects and boost the brightness. Finally, we added an adjustment layer with Video Copilot's heat plugin, then three adjustment layers using Red Giant's optical glow with a reddish color to really bloom the heat from the lava. Then duplicated the layer to just have a section masked at the base of the text for more intensity. Then one final glow layer with no mask, low amount, and large size. You can always tweak the color vibrance setting to really finesse how you want it to look, not to mention changing the color to give different looks and styles. And obviously, this doesn't just have to be used for titles, but could be cool for logos or even fantasy effects like this lava sword. For this, we have a layer of the sword from Element 3D isolated with a bright color and glow. Then we turn the slime lava into a 3D layer to look like they're attached to the sword and use them as a displacement map to help add that initial connection from the sword to the lava. We also added several of our infinity smoke assets to the scene and from the sword to turn up the heat. We also have a new pack, which is available for free on our store of these lava burst assets, as well as green slime versions and these Mortal Kombat style blood versions. Next time, we're gonna be showing you how to create this smoky superhero shot. So definitely subscribe if you haven't, hit the bell to make sure you're notified when we put up new videos. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat. <laughs>